Hey everyone, welcome to Wetcode, where in this video I'm going to show you how to connect to a MySQL database using Python, specifically PyCharm, and what we're going to be using also with MySQL is MySQL Workbench. So let me show you exactly what we're going to be doing. So I have a database in here, or a schema, called Python MySQL. And if I press select from users here, say I run this, you can see we get three users, 012, Wetcode, Mike, Freddy. And now if we go to PyCharm, and I run this program here, we will get the same thing Print it down here. It said we'll say username, password for each of the users. So if I press play, you can see we get the same output or we're retrieving the data from this database in MySQL or MySQL Workbench. And so for this video, I'm going to be assuming that you have MySQL with MySQL Workbench already installed and also PyCharm installed as well. If you do not, I will leave links to uh, videos in the description on how to get these set up. But for now, let's get started with the video. To get started, the first thing we're going to do is create a new, pro new project in PyCharm. Let's look up to file new project, what we're going to be doing is just a new virtual environment and let's just specify where we want to put this project. And then to create the project. And now to actually connect to our database, the first thing we need to do is add a MySQL driver to our Python project. And the way we can do that is by going up to File, and Settings, and when we specifically what we want to go to is our project interpreter. So if we go here, and the next thing we want to do is we want to add a specific package. And the package that we're going to add is MySQL connector, and then specifically MySQL connector Python version 8.0.2.4. And let's install this by clicking right here. Then when the package is installed successfully, just exit out of here. You can see it's up here and some other things, other packages that it depends on. We can press OK. Now let's just create a Python file. Let's go into here, click New, Python file. Let's just name it My Connector. And now to actually check if this worked, the first thing we're going to do is do MySQL import MySQL dot connector, just like this. And now just from importing this package and doing all these steps, we are able to easily connect to our database and work with it there. However, what I want to do is actually create a new schema or database within MySQL and work with that one so you can see the whole process. So now I'm going to go over to MySQL Workbench and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to here, create a new schema in the connected server. But first, let me show you. So where I am is just in a local instance. So right here is the home page. I've just double clicked into one of these. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to here, create a new schema in this connected server. Now let's name it Python. I'm just going to name it Python video or underscore video. And then I'm going to go to here to apply. Double check this is how it will be created. Press apply and finish. Now, the next thing we want to do is when it appears over here, Python video right here, let's right click on tables to create table. And let's just call this table users. And what we're going to have is a primary key which we'll just call, let's just call it ID. And then we're going to make another column here. And this will be username. Then we'll make another one, and this will just be password. And then from there, we're going to go to apply. You can see all these here. This look checks out. That's how it's going to create the table. Press apply, and then finish. And now we can see in here, we have our table users set up. So let's right click on this, go to copy to clipboard, and then insert statement. And then what I want to do next is create an SQL file. So this insert statement that I copied to the clipboard is this right here. And this is how we can insert values into our, into our table. And so it takes ID, username and password, of course. And so let's do what we did last time. Let's do zero is the ID. The username will be wait code. And let's do the password, very secure one. Just call it password. And now let's just add two other users. So now I've got our three users here. So let's just run this. So go up to here and you click execute the selected statement. You can see it's been executed. So then if we go, what we can do now is to double check. Let's use the same file. Let's just do select all from users. And this will work if we make sure that the database or schema that you want to work with is highlighted or bolded. So you can see this is bolded here. So when I do select all from users, it'll be the users table within this schema. So make sure that, that the correct one is highlighted here. 
but let's just press execute and you can see we have all these here. So now let's display the same thing but in the console in PyCharm. So let's go back into PyCharm. Let's get started. Now the first thing that we want to do is we want to actually connect to our database. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use the mysql.connector.connect method. So, and what it returns is an instance of our connection or our connection to our database. So I'm just going to call it mydb. <clears throat> and I'm going to set that equal to mysql.connector.connect. And then the arguments within here, the first one is going to be host. And because we're using our own computer, that will just be localhost. And the next one is going to be the user. And what the user is, is the password or the, path or the username that you set up when you were installing MySQL in your computer. So if you forgot what that is, I will leave um, links in the description on how to remove MySQL or how to change your password and username so that you can start again. But mine is just root. So this is the username you used when you set up MySQL on your computer. Next is password, which is the same thing. It's the password you set up. For me, it's just T-O-O-R, root backwards. And then the next thing what we want to specify is the port. So by default, the port number for MySQL is 3306. However, you might have um, changed it when you were installing it. And if you did, the way you can find out what port you're running on is if you go here, you can see localhost 3306 for me. If it's a different number, you might have to use a different port. And then the next thing we have to specify is the actual database. And so the database is also known as a schema in MySQL. And that can be found by the one we created in here. So mine you can see is python underscore video. So let's make sure those names match. So it'll be python underscore video, like that. And now we should successfully have created a connection to our database. And let's just check that out real quick. So I do this, I'm gonna right click here. And I'm gonna say run my connector. Seems like we finished successfully. So now let's keep going. So of course what we wanna do with our database is we wanna query it and we wanna work with the results. And to do that in MySQL, or to do that with Python in this connection is you need to use a cursor object. And so you can get this cursor from MyDB. So we're gonna call my cursor, and the way you get it is you just do mydb.cursor like this. And this will return a cursor that we can um, run queries and everything on. So because we're doing the database Python video, a thing we can use is just the function execute. And what we can execute is an SQL statement. So if we do select all, from users, where users is the table name. So if we go back in here and we go to our tables, remember that we created this table here called users, this will select everyone from it. So if we went back in here and we did select all from users, this is the same thing as what we'll be running in here. So we'll do select all from users. And now that we have actually executed the query, what we want to do is fetch the data. And what you can do with that is just a method called my cursor, and then you, it's called fetch all. However, it of course returns something, and let's assign that to something called, let's just call it users. So we're gonna set users equal to fetch all. And what this will do is it will return a list of tuples of all the users in our database. So it will return a list where each one of these is a tuple. So let's go back in here, and then how we can work with that is for user and users, what we wanna do is we wanna print out first, let's just print out the user, and let's just double check this is all working. So let's press play. You can see we get it down here, zero, wake code, password, one, two, Freddy, which all matches up to everything in here. So now just the last thing I did is I just also printed, I believe it was print username. Because it's a tuple, what we could do is, I believe it is the second thing and then the password plus user of two. So let's just check that this works. So run this. Yep, you can see we get username wit code, password password, username Freddy, password my password. Because these are a tuple, of course, we can access. This is the second element, this is the third element. But so this is um, just how to connect to the MySQL database with Python, specifically using PyCharm. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll uh, try and get back to you and answer them. But uh, for now, just thank you for watching.